Hi everyone, I'm back with another crochet quick tutorial with a daisy granny square. But before we begin, here are the timestamps for the chapters. Here are the materials you will need. You will need white yarn and DK weight, sky blue yarn and DK weight, mustard yellow yarn and worsted weight, a 4.25 mm or a 5.0 mm hook, scissors, and yarn needle. The yarn needle is optional. For yarn brand, I like to use Bernat Softy Baby in white and pale blue. That's a DK acrylic yarn. And Loops and Thread Impeccable Yarn in Sunny Day, which is a acrylic worsted weight yarn. You can use any yarn brand that you like as long as it's the size that is listed here. And here are the stitches you need to know. You need to know magic green, chain, slip knot, slip stitch, single crochet, double crochet, puff stitch, half double crochet, and double crochet. And it's all in US terms. Alright, this is how the granny square looks like. It's pretty small and it's good for projects where you sew them together to create a crop top, a bag, anything, a hat too. Uh, this is a hook that you'll need, a 4.25 mm hook, scissors, and the yarn that I recommend for you to use for this project. Now on to creating the daisy. Alright, you're going to be using the mustard yellow yarn and creating a magic ring with that yarn. And you are going to chain one and placing a single crochet in the circle. You're going to be placing a total of seven single crochets in this magic ring circle and then slip stitch it to the first single crochet stitch. That slip stitch counts as another stitch so you have a total of eight single crochet stitches. After that, you are going to chain one and cut it off to fasten off and that is your mustard yellow yarn center. Now we are going to be working on the white petals. You are going to take the white yarn and create a slip knot and attach it to any stitch of the mustard yellow center. Once you've attached the white yarn, you're going to chain three and prepare for a double crochet puff stitch. So you yarn over and in the same stitch, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, and in the same stitch, pull through the first two loops. You should have three loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all three loops chain one in the next stitch you're going to yarn over insert your hook in the next stitch you're going to try to crochet over the excess yarn that was cut off from before so you can hide it in the stitches so you yarn over pull through the first two loops yarn over again pull through the first two loops yarn over again and pull through the first two loops. You should have four loops on your hook and then pull through all four loops. Make sure your double crochet puff stitch 
has three double crochets in that cluster and just keep repeating this all around for eight a total of eight puff stitches in the last after doing the last puff stitch just chain one and slip stitch to the first chain chain one and cut it off to fasten off and there's your daisy now we are going to be creating the granny square part of this pattern I like to use a sky blue color and this is in a DK white sky blue color you can use any color that you want so the first thing you're going to do is create a slip knot and attach it between the puff clusters that you've made there should be a, that chain one space right under that chain one space you're going to insert your hook and attach the yarn underneath it once you've attached your yarn you are going to be chaining three that counts as a double crochet and you're going to be placing two double crochets in the same chain space in the next chain space over you are going to be placing three half double crochets try to look for the clusters and try to find the space in between it so you don't confuse where each cluster goes but yeah you are going to be placing three half double crochets in that the next space And then in the next space over, you are going to be placing three double crochets. You are going to be making a corner with this double crochet. So after doing three double crochets, chain two, and then place three more double crochets in the same chain space. This creates your granny square corner. In the next space, you are going to be placing three half double crochets and you're going to repeat this all around until you reach the final corner. Once you reach the final corner, you're just going to place three double crochets to complete this corner. chain two and slip stitch it to the chain three that you've made in the first place let me show you that one more time so you are going to be placing three double crochets in that same chain space to, to finish this corner chain two then slip stitch it to the chain three that you made in the first place chain one cut it off to fasten off and that completes your daisy granny square we are done Yay! I like to weave in my ends by crocheting it in into the granny square. You can use a yarn needle if you want to weave in your ends, but we are going to be making as many granny squares as you want for any project actually i am actually making this for an order placement that i have for a daisy crop top and i'm going to be showing you in a vlog how i make it here 
here's me just sitting and crocheting a bunch of these granny squares for this order that I'm making. For this order, it's actually kind of simple and easy. I just make a bunch of granny squares and sew them together to create this like bandeau top and then crochet some straps and a tie string at the back. So I just sewed each granny square using the mattress stitch, which is just taking a string, try to measure out how long you need it to be to sew, and try to crochet every stitch to match with each other. I tend to just crochet the corners together and then try to crochet the top part of each V stitch together and then pull the string so this creates a seamless finish as you can see I'm doing each stitch only doing the top stitch of it and here I am working on the straps of this top this strap pattern is pretty simple I just slip, slip knot attach it chain three and then add three double crochets in the same space chain three and in the previous row between one of the double crochets as you can see I just insert my hook and place two double crochets in there chain three place two double crochets in the previous space below and just create about like 14 to 15 clusters of that depending on how long I want the strap to be and that's how I create a strap I repeat this to the other side and for the back side of this top I just chain a long chain as like a very long string to tie the back like it's a corset finish and here's the final result of the order sample I created a TikTok for it actually. You guys can check out my TikTok and Instagram to see any orders or mix that I've made. Usually just like different color variations of my designs as orders. So thank you guys for watching. Love you guys. Bye. Then it goes a little something like